welcome to this full body workout. We are starting off with a warm up of hip circles. This is a great workout to do if you're just looking for a 20 minute workout to stay fit and active and you don't have a lot of time. Keep going, your core should be tight as you're doing this. This is like the Macarena move. Great. Next, we're going to do half toy soldiers. You're going to keep your core tight and you're going to try to touch your knees with your wrist. Make sure that core is tight. Keep going, just a few more seconds. Good job. Next, we're doing high pulls with a kick. You're going to pretend you are pulling something from the ceiling and you're going to kick forward. Make sure your core is tight the entire time. This is the only way to stay balanced. Good, good, good. You're looking good already. Nicely done. Next, we're doing duck unders. You keep your core tight and you pretend you are ducking underneath a fence. So just go as low as you can and just swing from side to side. You're doing good. Your heart rate should be up and your legs should be feeling nice and warm. Mm hmm. Good job. For our last warm up, we are doing front taps. Your core is tight as usual, and you are swinging your arms and tapping your foot like you're having a good old time. Why did I say good old time? Like I'm from Texas or something. <laughs> you're looking good. Perfect. Now here's a preview of our first exercise move. We are doing sumo squats. Your feet are wider than shoulder width apart, your core is tight, and you are going as low as you can. Go at your own pace with this. There's no rush. We got 20 minutes, and you got this. Let's go. Slow and steady. You're doing good. Remember with your squats, you want to pretend you're sitting back into a chair. This is the best way to make sure that you are getting your form perfect and you are staying safe. Just a few more seconds, you're doing good. You did it, nice. Next, we're going to do bent over rows. This is an exercise that is wonderful for your back. I'm showing you from two different angles. You can see that on the right, I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades together. You really wanna think about those back muscles as you're doing this. And again, go at your own pace. You can make this particular exercise more intense by holding dumbbells in your hands I'm not going to be doing anything with dumbbells, but you can certainly make this more intense by doing so. Remember to keep your core tight, keep that slight bend in your knee, and just go slow and steady. Good job. Keep going, this, ex this whole workout is going to be pretty fast and you're doing good. Next, we're going straight into arm circles with a march. This targets your arms really well and also gets your heart rate up. You keep your core tight, you do a gentle march, and you are rotating your hands in a nice big circle. You wanna start with your hands and once you get your rhythm, then you add your legs in. You're doing good, keep going, keep going. Your arms are going to start to burn, but guess what, you got this, just keep going. Almost there, just keep your eye on the, on the timer. Look at the timer, the timer is your happy place. You're doing good.
three, two, one. You did it. Next, we're going to do some standing crunches. You are going to keep your core tight and try to touch your knee to your elbow. Really think about your abs and try to engage them as you do this. Are you ready? Let's go. This really does a good job of targeting your abs and you don't even have to get on the floor to do this. That's why standing crunches are so amazing. Keep going. You're looking good. Ten more seconds. You you got this. You got this. Just keep going. You did it. Perfect. Next up, we're going to do bell swings. You are going to do that sumo squat move, but then you're adding in a swing. You are pretending to be volleying something from between your legs. Really keep your core tight. Remember to pretend you're sitting back into a chair and activate your glutes on your way up. So really squeeze your butt on the way up and your butt should be what's driving this whole movement. Yes, this is a booty move. You got it? Yeah, keep going. Again, you can make this more intense by holding a dumbbell in your hands. Just make sure you're gripping it really tight and you don't toss the dumbbell by mistake. 10 more seconds. You're doing it. You're doing it. Good job. Keep going. Perfect. Next up, we have burpees. There are two variations you can do. You can do the burpee with the jump on the left or the burpee without the jump on the right. Totally up to you. Do what fits your fitness level. This is a great all-round body exercise. Let's go. Again, you don't have to jump. You can just do the whole burpee, but just don't do the jumping part if you don't feel comfortable. Take your time. Go at your own pace. You're doing good. Keep your core tight. Good job. Just 10 more seconds. That's all you have to do. Almost there. Yes. Good job. Finally, we're going to do some crunches. This is our last move before you get a break. You're going to just make sure your lower back is on the floor. Make sure your heels are on the floor and bring your whole body up and go back down. Up and back down. Really keep your core engaged the whole time. Some people call this move sit-ups, so it's basically the same, a different variation of crunches, but you know, technicalities. You're looking good. Keep going. This is another move for your abs. It's almost time for a break. Can you believe it? You are halfway through already. Already. Take a break. Grab some water. Pat yourself on the back because you're a boss. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you and it means so much to me. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Check the description box because I have freebies there for you. I always do.
welcome back. Let's get right into it. We are starting off with tricep dips. This is a move that really targets the back of your arms to get rid of any jiggles that are there. Keep your core tight and try to touch your butt to the mat and go right back up. All the work is coming from your arms. Go at your own pace, you're moving, and that's all that matters. You're looking good, keep going. Remember why you started, remember your goal, you're doing good. Every single move counts. Just a few more seconds. I know, it burns, it burns, but you're doing it. You got this. Look at that, you made it. Next up, we're doing bicycles. You're going to make sure your lower back is on the floor, your core is tight, and you are touching your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. This targets your whole core, all of it. Hang in there, I know. Go at your own pace. If this hurts your lower back, you can skip this exercise. Exercise should not hurt. It should challenge you, but it shouldn't cause you pain. So if it's hurting, just skip this one and take some extra time to catch your breath. You've worked hard and we're almost at the end. Good job! Next, we're doing the slow bridge. This is a glute bridge, but in slow motion. You're going to basically you squeeze your glutes and extend just the way you see me do. On the right, I have a weight to make it more challenging. If you don't have a weight, that's fine. I will be doing the version without a weight anyway. Really squeeze at the top of the movement and hold for about two to three seconds before you release to get maximum burn in your booty. This is good. You're doing good. Nicely done. Next we have crab kicks. You're going to go into that tricep dip position with your core tight and you're going to gently kick your legs out one at a time. Your butt does not touch the floor the whole time. Go at your own pace. Be very gentle on your knees with this and let's do it. You're almost at the end. You're almost at the end. Remember to keep your core tight. Good job. You're doing good. You're almost at the end. I keep saying that. I promise. The workout is almost complete. Keep going. Perfect. Next, we're going to do a side bridge. You're going to go on your side into the side plank position and you're going to gently extend your hip toward the ceiling like you see me do. This really targets your core as well and your abs area. Your hips should just touch the mat just a little bit and then you go back up so you don't really get to rest at the bottom of this movement. Good job. Go ahead, switch to the other side and keep going. Switch as quickly as you can. Yeah. 
It's all right, you're doing good. The next time you do this workout, you will see it will be way easier. Good. Next, we're going into a plank position. You're going to keep your core tight the whole time, and you're going to make sure that your butt is not sagging down or up. It's basically like a straight line from your head to toe. Except your booty, you know, messes up the straight line, but you know what I mean. Hang in there. You can pause, you can release for a second, but get right back into it. You can do this. You got this. After this, we have two more moves and it's done. Finito. Finished. Perfect. Next, we have the half push-up. On the left, I'm doing a half push-up on the floor. On the right, I'm doing a wall push. Do the one that's more convenient for you. Remember to keep your core tight and just try to get your chest as close to the floor as possible if you're doing the half push-up with me and just try to get your chest as close to the wall as possible if you're doing the wall pushes instead. Both are good. You can pause if you need to, but just keep moving. That's all that counts. You are moving. After this, we have one more exercise and we are done. Keep going, just a few more. <laughs> Finally, we have mountain climbers. You're going to get on all fours and just pull your legs in one at a time. And once you get your rhythm, you can increase your pace. Keep your core tight. This is your last move of the day. So just do your best. Do your best. I like it, I like it. You're doing good. You're looking good. You might be slowing down a bit, but it's okay because you're still moving. Almost there. Keep going. Ten seconds. You you got this. I am so proud of you. Good job. We're just going to take two minutes to quickly cool down. You can lay on your back with me and stretch out your hamstrings. This will feel really good at the back of your thigh after all those squats and ooh, you worked hard. Go ahead and switch legs and do your other leg. Go at your own pace with this. Listen to your body and just try to calm down, cool down. You are amazing. You worked out today. That's a big deal. Next, I want you to just sit up if you can, gently, and just stretch out those triceps. You did some crab kicks, you did tricep dips, you did arm circles. Your hands have worked hard today. When you're ready, go ahead and release that hand and switch hands to do the other side as well. You are, you are amazing. You worked out today. Next, I want you to do some gentle torso twists. Just gently twist from side to side. Really bring your shoulders in as close as you can to each side. 
this will feel good in your back from those back exercises you did as well. Go through your own range of motion. This should feel good to your body after a tough workout. Finally, I want you to just gently, slowly stand up and get into mountain to side bend. So your core is tight, your feet are together, and you're just swaying from side to side to really get your whole body nice and cool down. You should feel like a peaceful wave just washing over you as you do this. What are you going to do after this workout? Leave me a comment. I'm curious. 10 seconds. And you're all done. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next workout video.